Now, your forecast first, sponsored by ESL Federal Credit Union. Good afternoon. The stage set here for pretty showery Monday. Check out your forecast first. Temperatures stuck in the low 50s. I'll let you know how long the rain will last in my forecast. Also ahead, New York's ban on plastic bags begins today. We'll tell you what that means for your next shopping trip. And a man is shot and a woman is doused with gasoline after a fight in a parking lot. From the team you can trust, this is News 8 at noon. Good afternoon. We begin with a disturbing story. A man was shot and a woman was doused with gasoline after a fight in a parking lot on West Ridge Road early this morning. Rochester police say a large group assembled in the parking lot and a fight ensued. A 22-year-old Rochester man was shot multiple times in the lower body and later sent to Unity Hospital. While investigating, RPD officers say they were approached by a 48-year-old Greece woman who was covered in gasoline. She claims the group assaulted her and poured gas on her. Anyone with information is encouraged to contact the Rochester Police Department. And happening now, New York State is starting to enforce its plastic bag ban today. This means the plastic bags you get in the grocery stores and for your takeout meals will be gone. Under the regulations, plastic bags thinner than 10 millimeters are prohibited. News Ace Rebecca Fath joins us live from the East Avenue Wegmans with more. Rebecca? The DEC commissioner says that the thickness of the bass of the bags is cost prohibited for our state at this point. Now, reusable bags must be used with other available machine washable materials. That can also mean any reusable bags sold that can't be made of plastic. State officials say historically more than 23 billion plastic bags were used in the state every year. Last year, a ban on the distribution of plastic bags in New York signed into law the first date of March 2020. Now, plastic bans are currently wreaking havoc on our environment and, of course, our wildlife and costing recycling facilities upward of 12 million dollars a year. For now, we are live in Rochester. Rebecca Fath, News 8. Rebecca, thank you. The plastic bag ban passed through the state legislature last year and was originally supposed to be enforced this March before being pushed back. Some stores will be offering paper bags for a small price. Turning our attention to weather now, we're off to a wet start on this Monday. Let's check in now with meteorologist Josh Nichols, who's tracking the rain. Josh. Yeah, Kayla, all I can think about is that song about rainy days and Mondays. This is definitely uh, that kind of situation you can see here as we look at uh, outside of our fair flower city. Uh, pretty quiet, pretty cloudy, pretty damp. And uh, the rainfall is definitely an umbrella worthy rainfall. Rainfall tallies on the order of a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. It's going to stay on the damp side as we work our way in through the night tonight. Now, the round of showers likely, especially into the Finger Lakes. And then as we head into Tuesday, uh, some rain around for the morning, some breaks of sunshine in store for the afternoon. You can see here on radar exactly what's going on. That's a pretty good swath of moisture right there that extends all the way back into Ohio. And as we go in for a closer examination, you can see that rain into Naples and Geneva. It's coming down at a pretty good clip and it'll stay that way for a little while longer. We'll talk uh, more about uh, the rain and uh, the rest of the eight day forecast in just a little bit. Thank you, Josh. Now for the latest on COVID-19. The number of coronavirus cases worldwide has now reached 40 million. In the U.S., new cases are the highest they've been since the summer. Hospitalizations are up in at least 30 states. David Begnaud reports from New York City. Okay, got it. Coronavirus is pushing Utah's hospitals to the brink. The ICU at the University of Utah Hospital in Salt Lake City was at 104% capacity last Friday, and that forced patients into surge beds. This is as serious as it gets. We Dr. Russell Vinnick is Chief Medical Operations Officer at University of Utah Healthcare. He says with cases still rising and no noticeable improvement in people's behavior, he believes the worst is still ahead. We cannot manage a long surge, and with the weather getting worse, with Halloween, Thanksgiving coming on, uh, people are more likely to have indoor social gatherings. We absolutely have to have the public change their practice and make some sacrifices. 
Public health experts continue to urge Americans to stick to the basics of virus prevention, like social distancing and wearing masks. But the newest member of the White House Coronavirus Task Force, Dr. Scott Atlas, who is not an expert in infectious diseases, posted a tweet on Saturday claiming that masks do not work. It was removed by Twitter for violating the site's policies against misinformation. Meanwhile, President Trump continues to call the efficacy of masks into question, even pointing to Dr. Anthony Fauci and his guidance from the early days of the pandemic as reason the president says we should all be skeptical. Then he said, do not wear a mask. So we don't wear a mask. Then they say, oh, wear a mask. In a 60 Minutes interview with CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook, Dr. Fauci took the time to explain why his stance on masks changed. Let's see if we could put this to rest once and for all. It became clear that cloth coverings, things like this here, and not necessarily a surgical mask or an N95, cloth coverings work. So now there's no longer a shortage of masks. Number two, meta-analysis studies show that contrary to what we thought, masks really do work in preventing infection. No doubt. So, so no doubt. You know, here in New York State where we are, they continue to be really strict about keeping an eye on large gatherings. There was supposed to be a wedding in Brooklyn, probably still will be, where the guest list, we're told, could have reportedly been as high as 10,000 people. But the state got involved. The governor sent his representatives who had an order in their hand saying, you are not allowed to have more than 50 people. David Begno, CBS News, Manhattan. And Governor Cuomo has announced a new plan to target microclusters of the virus on a block by block level. State health officials say certain neighborhoods where cases are rising will see stricter enforcement, but also a surge in testing. Governor Cuomo also announcing over the weekend new guidance for some businesses, businesses still closed. State theaters outside of New York City can reopen as early as this Friday the 23rd. They will only be at 25% capacity with up to 50 people per screen. Theaters will only be allowed to open and stay open in counties with an infection rate below 2% for a 14-day average. Good news for those who like to hit the slopes across New York State. Governor Cuomo announced Sunday that ski resorts can reopen on November 6th. The resorts are allowed to operate at 50% capacity. They also have to abide by other common guidelines such as masking and social distancing. The Bills will kick off tonight versus the reigning Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. The game is scheduled for 5 p.m. The Bills are coming off their first loss of the season Tuesday night against the Tennessee Titans and face a tough challenge against Patrick Mahomes. The game in Orchard Park will not have any fans, although Buffalo officials say they are working with Governor Cuomo to allow limited access to future Bills games. And don't forget about our football pick'em contest. Pick who you think will win each week on rochesterfirst.com slash contest. Prizes range from a $50 gift card to a trip for two to Hawaii. The contest runs until February 7th. And happening later today, News 8 is putting Rochester first. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Local organization Resolve will be here to tell us about the many programs it offers to victims of domestic violence and their families and how you can help. Putting Rochester first begins tonight at 5 p.m. right here on News 8. Still ahead, President Trump and Democratic challenger Joe Biden are dueling over coronavirus and science. The latest from the campaign trail next. You're watching News 8, the team you can trust. Mark Gruba and meteorologist Josh Nichols. This is News 8 at noon. What's coming up on Channel 8 WROC? There's always someone at Peak Ram who will happily get you on the road. New or used, maintenance or repairs. Check us out at peakram.com. At the Agardi Auto Sales, folks, when I tell you we got the SUVs you're looking for, you got to come down to the at 3800 West Henrietta Road and see this 2018. This is a Ford Escape. This car is only $239 a month. Or how about this gorgeous Toyota Highlander? It's a 16 black black, $299 a month. Or this XLT Ford Explorer, $299 a month. All of them got great miles. Call me, 266-9000. I'm Dr. Howard Zucker, New York State's Health Commissioner. 
It's flu season, and it's always a good idea to get the flu shot. But this year, it's more important than ever. A flu shot won't prevent COVID-19, but it will lower your chances of getting seriously sick from the flu. If you do get sick, the shot can lessen your symptoms and help you feel better sooner. The last thing you or the healthcare system needs during this pandemic is a bad flu season. So please, protect yourself and your community. Get a flu shot now. Genesee Valley Physical Therapy. News 8 is your local election headquarters. President Trump continues his trip to western battleground states campaigning in Arizona. This follows rallies in Nevada Sunday. The campaign continues to center around the coronavirus pandemic, with both candidates focusing on the topic on the campaign trail. Deborah Alfaron has the latest from Washington. President Trump heads to Arizona for a rally this afternoon. It's a state where he has some ground to make up, with Democratic nominee Joe Biden leading in the latest CBS News battleground tracker poll. But President Trump says he has momentum. All of the crowds have been incredible, and they've been incredible size, too. The enthusiasm that we have, I don't think anybody's ever had more enthusiasm. Campaigning in Nevada Sunday, President Trump told a packed crowd of mostly maskless supporters that Biden wants a Grinch-like lockdown. The Christmas season will be canceled. Look, remember I said we're going to bring back Christmas, right, the name? Remember, we brought it back, right? And he mocked the former vice president for wanting to listen to the scientists about the pandemic. He'll listen to the scientists. If I listened totally to the scientists, we would right now have a country that would be in a massive depression. The Biden campaign hit back in a statement saying that the U.S. economy would be in better shape today if the president had listened to scientists in the first place. Campaigning at a drive-up rally in North Carolina, the Democratic nominee slammed the president for insisting the virus will soon be under control. This guy's gone around the bend if he thinks we turn the corner. Turn the corner. Things are getting worse. Coronavirus cases are on the rise in 40 U.S. states right now. Experts say we're likely to lose as many as 200,000 additional lives nationwide between now and the end of the year. Biden will step off the campaign trail today to focus on preparing for this week's final presidential debate. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, the White House. Vice presidential candidate Kamala Harris will be campaigning in Florida today as that state starts early voting. And as a reminder, early voting in New York will begin October 24th and go until November 1st. Twelve locations will be open across Monroe County, and you can vote at any of those locations regardless of where you live. Meteorologist Josh Nichols joins us now with a preview of what's next in weather. It's wet out there, Josh, isn't it? It is <laughs> wet indeed. Uh, yeah, what you see is uh, what you get. Uh, the rain is uh, not going anywhere right now. Check out the Almanac uh, 57 so far for a top temp. A quarter of an inch of uh, rainfall in the rain gauge so far and counting. We'll let you know how long it lasts in my forecast. Stay with us. News 8 sponsored by the Law Offices of Kenneth Hiller. Insurance said they'd pay $100,000 for my accident, but my lawyers got them to pay $800,000. See what your case is worth. Injured. Call Salino. 2020. You know, soon the rains will come and the leaves will fall. If your gutters are clogged up, you could be looking at costly water damage from the roof to the foundation. That's why you need LeafGuard, the only patented one piece rainwater management system with a clog free guarantee. Take a look at this. Only the water flows in the gutter. Leaves, pine needles, and other debris roll off. And LeafGuard has earned the prestigious Good Housekeeping seal 15 years in a row and has a transferable lifetime warranty. And right now, LeafGuard is more affordable than ever, but we've reached the final days to get a complete LeafGuard system for only $99 down, $99 a month, and $99 installation. You'll also receive a free $25 Lowe's gift card with your in-home estimate and gutter inspection. Plus, call during this program and receive a $200 Visa gift card as a bonus with your LeafGuard purchase. Final days of October to get these savings on the gutter that never clogs, guaranteed. Call LeafGuard right now. Right now for these savings. It's never been more important to have pro-choice lawmakers at the state level. But in his 10 years in Albany, Mark Johns has voted repeatedly to restrict women's reproductive freedom. 
Johns even voted against making Roe v. Wade protections the law here in New York. I'm Jen Lunsford, and I strongly believe a woman should have the right to make her own health care choices, not the government. In the State Assembly, I'll always protect our right to choose. Jen Lunsford, because Albany could use some new energy. Insurance offered $50,000 for my accident. Ross Salino made him pay $600,000 more. See what your case is worth. Injured. Call Salino. 888-2020. Your news every hour in primetime is on News Nation on WGN America. News Nation talked to Michigan's Attorney General after news broke of the alleged plot to kidnap the governor and examined the importance of minorities for COVID vaccine trials. If I can do this, it's good for me and it's good for everybody else. News Nation covers your nation every night starting at 8, 7 central on WGN America. Go to WGNAmerica.com to find WGN America on your cable or satellite provider. From the weather team you can trust, here's meteorologist Josh Nichols. This is exactly the kind of rainfall we need here in Rochester, a nice, slow soaking and that's exactly uh, what we have going for us here uh, across the region so far about a quarter of an inch of rain has fallen but you can see there are some areas here over Ontario County where we've already had a little bit more than that. So what do we expect? Well this is what I like to call a YC wig pattern. What you see is what you get. Uh, we've got more rain coming our way here over the next couple of days. There is going to be an opportunity for some milder air to come in midweek. Low pressure, a series of low pressure systems tracking uh, with the jet stream and a frontal boundary, basically a boundary that is just kind of stuck in place. And as a result, it kind of serves as a conduit uh, for rainfall. Check it out. We could get more than an inch of rain by the time we get into Tuesday. So uh, definitely uh, what you see is what you get. Uh, top temp today of 53 degrees with an overcast sky. By the way, Tropical Storm Epsilon here uh, is, has, uh, has formed and it is not too far uh, well, it's about 700 miles southeast of Bermuda, which is uh, a far cry, but uh, it could be threatening that fair island nation uh, by the time we get towards the weekend. So we'll keep you posted on that. 50 degrees the temperature right now. The air is calm and uh, there is radar. You can see the rain. It's, it's, it extends all the way basically from Ottawa back into Cleveland and points southwest. And there is radar. You can see very clearly where the steadiest and heaviest of the rain is right now. It's over parts of Ontario County, Yates County, and uh, into uh, Seneca County. In future cast shows, uh, those showers are going to uh, continue here for several hours. In fact, uh, it's going to be raining off and on, I think, right in through the night tonight. And check it out for tomorrow. <laughs> More showers right through at least uh, the morning. As we head into the afternoon, I think we will have an opportunity to get some breaks in the clouds and maybe a little bit of partial sunshine, so that would be nice. But look at those temperatures once again. Kind of woeful for this time of year. The normal high is in the low 60s, and we're really not much past uh, the 50s for a top temp. Have a check of that eight day forecast. Again, we've got uh, rain for the day today. We've got showers in store for the day tomorrow. Temperatures never really get past uh, the low and mid 50s here for both today and tomorrow. Wednesday's milder. There will be some showers to deal with. Uh, temperatures will flirt with 70. And we'll get some more showers on Thursday morning, followed by some, uh, some partial sunshine. Temperatures largely into the 60s for highs. Friday looks like a beauty of a day from hilltop to lakeshore. Sunshine 75, clearly the gem of the week ahead. And then another cold front will follow into the weekend with some additional showers early on Saturday, followed by a drop in temperature there for the end of the weekend. So still hanging on to some of that 70 degree warmth, which is uh, kind of nice. But uh, today, one of those uh, one of those rainy days that uh, we all write about uh, in songs and the like. Josh, it's so Monday outside. It's, it's so almost Monday. too cliche. It it's is. Looking forward to that Friday sun. But such a benefit. We've been in a rainfall deficit. It's good to have the rain that we have right now. That is true. I guess so. <laughs> Still ahead. Although humans are known to be tough on the planet, some choose to help in incredible ways. The inspiring story next. And as we go to break, here's today's News 8 Facebook Fan of the Day. Congratulations, Catherine, and thanks for watching News 8. convenient locations with great food and friendly faces.
You know, soon the rains will come and the leaves will fall. If your gutters are clogged up, you could be looking at costly water damage from the roof to the foundation. That's why you need LeafGuard, the only patented one-piece rainwater management system with a clog-free guarantee. Take a look at this. Only the water flows in the gutter. Leaves, pine needles, and other debris roll off. And LeafGuard has earned the prestigious Good Housekeeping Seal 15 years in a row and has a transferable lifetime warranty. And right now, LeafGuard is more affordable than ever, but we've reached the final days to get a complete LeafGuard system for only $99 down, $99 a month, and $99 installation. You'll also receive a free $25 Lowe's gift card with your in-home estimate and gutter inspection. Plus, call during this program and receive a $200 Visa gift card as a bonus with your LeafGuard purchase. Final days of October to get these savings on the gutter that never clogs, guaranteed. Call LeafGuard right now now for these savings. When you or a loved one, such as a child or a senior, require extra assistance in your home, who can you trust? Choose a provider that is known for their superior customer service, a provider that will be there for you today and tomorrow. Choose Trusted Choice Home Care. Trusted Choice Home Care works with Medicaid, allowing you to hire a family member or anyone you trust as your caregiver. If you have Medicaid, your caregiver receives a paycheck so they can take care of you in your home without the fear of lost income. Best of all, Trusted Choice Home Care makes managing your own care easy. Their trained representatives are there for you every step of the way. From finding out if you qualify and helping you with any paperwork to answering your day-to-day -day questions while you are receiving care. Your care is too important to trust to just anyone. Trust a provider that puts customer service first. Trust a provider that makes home care easy. Find out for yourself. There's no reason to wait. Call Trusted Choice Home Care today at 770-7722. If an illness or injury prevents you from working, disability benefits can be a lifesaver. Call the law offices of Kenneth Hiller. We'll handle all the paperwork and fight for the benefits you deserve. You are watching News 8. Welcome back. It's a story of survival. We all know humans can be hard on animals, but sometimes we help in extraordinary ways. Tom Hans Hansen has a story. Each day at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom in Vallejo, California, trainer Diane Cameron gets a greeting from this guy. He likes to spend time with us. He's a sweetheart. Meet Cronut, a special sea lion with a serious medical condition. He had a seizure in the water on September 18th. Had we not intervened when we did, he probably would have drowned. So it was really touch and go. A growing number of marine mammals are suffering brain damage, seizures, and weight loss from toxic algae blooms, a natural occurrence made worse by climate change. When medicine stopped working for Krona, Cameron turned to Dr. Scott Baraban at UC San Francisco for a groundbreaking brain surgery using pig brain cells to reverse the effects of epilepsy. So my first reaction really had been, wow, we'd, we'd love to try, but I really just didn't know if we'd be able to pull it off in three or four weeks. It sounds like you were kind of building the plane as you were flying it. That's a great way of putting it. Two weeks after surgery, Cronut is on the mend, but doctors won't know if the procedure is successful for at least 30 days. Hey, boy, target. That's really great. A second chance at life for Cronut and a medical breakthrough doctors hope will save countless lives in the wild. This surgery gave him an opportunity to survive, um, but not just survive, but, but thrive. Tom Hanson, CBS News, New York. Josh is back next with the final check of the weather, but first, a check of the lowest gasoline prices in our News 8 Fuel Finder. You're watching News 8 at noon. Weekdays on News 8 WROC. It's the talk at 2. Let's make a deal at 3. News 8 first at 4 with John Kutchko and Chief Meteorologist Eric Snydel. Then Inside Edition. The WROC afternoon lineup is sponsored by Crimson Ridge. Do you have any physical or mental problems that keep you from working? Call us to see if you qualify for Social Security Disability. We used to work for Social Security and now we're working for you. 
You know, soon the rains will come and the leaves will fall. If your gutters are clogged up, you could be looking at costly water damage from the roof to the foundation. That's why you need LeafGuard, the only patented one-piece rainwater management system with a clog-free guarantee. Take a look at this. Only the water flows in the gutter. Leaves, pine needles, and other debris roll off. And LeafGuard has earned the prestigious Good Housekeeping Seal 15 years in a row and has a transferable lifetime warranty. And right now, LeafGuard is more affordable than ever. But we've reached the final days to get a complete LeafGuard system for only $99 down, $99 a month, and $99 installation. You'll also receive a free $25 Lowe's gift card with your in-home estimate and gutter inspection. Plus, call during this program and receive a $200 Visa gift card as a bonus with your LeafGuard purchase. Final days of October to get these savings on the gutter that never clogs, guaranteed. Call LeafGuard right now. Right now for these savings. For the last four years, Donald Trump and John Katko have let corporate special interests write their own rules. Joe Biden and Dana Balter have a better plan. Make the super rich and corporations finally pay their fair share so we can cut taxes for working families, including tax credits for child care and caring for aging loved ones, and make health care affordable. Joe Biden and Dana Balter will bring people together to get it done. I'm Dana Balter, and I approve this message. Join News 8's Mark Gruba for the Al Siegel Walkabout Car Parade and Virtual Event Sunday, October 25th in the parking lot at Eastview Mall. Share photos from the comfort of your home or decorate your car, all to support the Al Siegel agencies. Learn more at alsiegel.org. You're watching News 8. The Susan B. Anthony Barbie is now on display at the Strong Museum of Play. The doll is part of Mattel's Inspiring Women line, but it's not just for show. You can order your own at shop.susanbanthony.org. And now Josh has one last look at the weather, Josh. Yeah, what we see is what we get uh, here, Kayla. Definitely a wet story here for your Monday. Rainy days and Mondays get you down. Yeah, you're probably not too thrilled with this report. 50 degrees the temperature right now, the air calm. But hey, you are probably thrilled if you are a farmer or gardener or a landscaper. We have desperately been needing some rain. And we've got more on the way into tonight. Thank you, Josh. And that's our noon show for today. Thank you for watching and have a great afternoon. So long.